Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book Creativity, Inc., a creation by Ed Catmull with Amy Wallace. In Creativity, Inc., Ed Catmull delves into the ups and downs of Pixar and Disney animation studios, while also sharing his own path to becoming an accomplished manager. Throughout the book, he shares the management principles he has developed and provides practical guidance on transforming your team members into exceptional innovators. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Ed Catmull currently serves as the president of both Pixar and Disney Animation Studios. He co-founded Pixar in 1986 and has not only achieved success as a manager, but has also made significant contributions to computer graphics and animation. Amy Wallace, on the other hand, is an editor-at-large for Los Angeles magazine and also works as a correspondent for GQ. With eight key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on StoryPlane.net. To start, this text is a proposition for learning how to unlock the creative potential of a team. The text discusses how management teams are often torn between the desire to be creative and innovative while also needing to maintain profitability and avoid risk. The author, Ed Catmull, shares his experiences and insights from his time at Pixar and Disney Animation Studios in his book Creativity, Inc. He highlights the importance of avoiding common traps that stifle creativity and offers guidance on how to foster a creative and successful team. Key points include the value of a great team over a great idea, the need to be adaptable and discard long-term business plans, the benefits of stopping an assembly line, and the role of environment in fostering creativity. Key idea number one, hierarchy in organizations hinders honest feedback from employees, particularly when it is directed towards their superiors. Creating feedback systems that allow for open communication between hierarchies is crucial for improving a business. Companies like Pixar have successfully implemented Notes Day, where employees have the opportunity to give feedback and solve problems together. Giving employees ownership of their work and the ability to halt production when they see issues improves productivity and problem solving. It is important for management to value and listen to their employees' opinions, as demonstrated by the co-founder of Pixar, visiting employees individually to gain insight and ensure confidence in speaking up. Key idea number two, fear of failure leads people to stick to familiar paths and avoid taking risks. When a new computer system is introduced in an office, people tend to resist change because they fear making mistakes and looking like failures. This fear of failure also applies to learning new things, as people are hesitant to try something new for fear of making mistakes. In business, this fear can lead companies to create rigid plans to control the future, but this can hinder their ability to take advantage of unexpected opportunities. It is important to maintain flexibility and encourage people to try new things without fear of failure. Key idea number three. Leaders should recognize their own weaknesses and be open to the perspectives of their employees. Confirmation bias, the tendency to prefer information that confirms our opinions, leads to mistakes and prevents us from considering alternative viewpoints. British psychologist Peter Wazen showed in the 1960s that we give preference to information that supports our views regardless of its accuracy. This bias can have negative consequences, such as ignoring valid concerns. However, managers can avoid this trap by acknowledging that their staff may have better ideas than them. An example from Pixar shows how implementing a radical suggestion resulted in great success. Key idea number four. When employees believe that their contributions are valuable and impactful, they are more motivated to work harder and strive for excellence in their work. Companies must have a goal to strive towards in order to operate at their best. This goal can be abstract, like pursuing excellence, 
and can motivate employees to go the extra mile. Pixar's passion for excellence led them to work around the clock to resolve problems during the production of Toy Story 2, resulting in a successful film. When employees know their work is important, they will work harder and overcome obstacles. The production managers at Pixar, despite facing criticism from other staff members, knew the value of their role in making film history with Toy Story and continued to work their best. Key idea number five, assembling the perfect team is crucial as people are more important than ideas or processes. Although groundbreaking ideas are important in business, the key to success lies in hiring the right people. A great team is more crucial than a great idea. Without the right team to execute the plan, success is unlikely. Collaborative efforts from diverse minds lead to successful products. Building an all-star team involves hiring talented individuals who work well together. Diversity in teams inspires and complements each other, leading to success. For instance, a program at the University of Utah with diverse students led to the development of the predecessor of the Internet. Key idea number six. Managers should trust and empower their employees to make decisions. Micromanaging employees can hinder their creativity and morale. It is better to give them the freedom to make decisions on their own as they are experts in their field. Pixar's Brain Trust is an example of allowing experts to have control of their projects while still offering suggestions. It is important to hire smart individuals who can be trusted to work independently and solve problems. Even hiring people smarter than oneself can lead to better results. Key idea number seven. The role of a manager is not to avoid risk and failure, but to help the company recover from setbacks and continue moving forward. One way for businesses to handle misfortune is to incorporate recovery techniques into their business plan. Pixar values iterative processes, recognizing that mistakes are part of the process and working to eliminate them with each new iteration. The team takes responsibility for failure and works together to overcome it, as seen in their experience with the production of Monsters, Inc. Allowing staff to fail in the early stages of a project helps them learn from their mistakes. Pixar gives employees more time for exploration and correction during development to minimize the negative effects of mistakes. Learning from mistakes is the best approach for dealing with them. Key idea number eight, companies should view their working environment as a means to encourage creativity. Companies should pay attention to the design and atmosphere of their workspace as it can greatly influence creativity and morale. Simple changes like replacing a table or allowing employees to personalize their workspaces can make a big difference. It's also important to give employees the freedom to work according to their individual styles, allowing for personal project days where they can explore their own interests. This not only keeps employees happy, but can also lead to creative ideas that benefit the company. In conclusion, change and uncertainty are natural and necessary in creative environments. To foster creativity, focus on building a functional team, trust, and an imaginative environment. Avoid making rigid plans, as they leave no room for adjustments. Personalize your workspace to prevent boredom and disinterest. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories, and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.